What's going on guys? Coming at you today with a list of the upcoming games we're most excited for. You won't want to miss this. Stay tuned. The first game on our list comes from Rocksteady Studios, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which continues the Batman Arkham series, only this time you don't play as Batman, you play as the Suicide Squad trying to defend against an attack. Many of the Justice League members have been taken over and they'll attempt to stop you, hence the name. This game is set to release sometime in 2023. Up next, we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2 started production shortly after the release of Part 1 back in 2017, but has been delayed a few times due to various reasons. Nintendo did state, however, that the delays of the release would allow Nintendo to make this game's experience something special. So there's that. The game is now targeting a Spring 2023 release window. God of War Ragnarok will continue the story of Kratos and his teenage son Atreus, and will serve as the finale to the Norse era of the series. The game will focus on Ragnarok, known as the end of days in Norse mythology, and will depict the death of some of the gods as foretold in the previous game. God of War Ragnarok is set for a 2022 release. This next title isn't a remaster, it is a full-blown remake of the classic action RPG Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Not to be confused with the MMORPG The Old Republic, which takes place in the same universe, but 300 years later in the timeline. Knights of the Old Republic is the original, and it centers around the rise and fall of Revan. I'm not gonna lie, being able to experience this phenomenal game again with today's graphics and mechanics is going to be absolutely epic. This remake is set to release sometime in 2023. From the guys who brought us the XCOM series comes Marvel's Midnight Suns, a tactical RPG set in a darker toned Marvel Universe. This game will feature characters from all over the Marvel Universe such as the Avengers, the X-Men, and even the Runaways. However, the best part is that you'll be able to create your own superhero known as the Hunter, with your choice of over 40 different powers. Midnight Suns is set for a 2022 release. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song is a narrative-driven RPG. You will take control of three different vampires, each with their own unique abilities. You'll switch back and forth between them as you progress through the game and you'll customize their skills which will influence character interactions and skills used while exploring the game world, such as picking locks and hacking computers, all without exposing your kind to the humans, that is. Throughout the game, you'll be put into difficult situations where you'll have to make moral choices, most with no obviously correct choice. Each choice will change and sculpt the game going forward, so choose wisely. Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song releases on May 19th, 2022. Next on our list is Hogwarts Legacy, an open world action RPG set in the late 1800s that follows a student, you, starting their fifth year at Hogwarts. Your character holds the key to an ancient secret that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart. You will be capable of manipulating a mysterious ancient magic and will need to help uncover why this forgotten magic has suddenly reappeared. Hogwarts Legacy is set to release sometime in 2022. Forspoken is an open world action RPG with a heavy focus on traversal speed and fluidity. Reminds me a lot of the infamous series, especially Second Son. You will assume the role of Frey Holland, a young woman who is transported to the magical land of Athia and must use her newfound magical powers to survive long enough to find her way back home. Forspoken releases on October 11th, 2022. Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is the third installment in the insanely popular Insomniac Spider-Man franchise. It will allow you to play both Peter and Miles this time around and will also introduce Venom. It is slated for a 2023 release. 
Also coming from Insomniac is Marvel's Wolverine, which has been confirmed to take place in the same universe, though not much is known about it at this time. A 2023 release window would be awesome, but realistically, we probably won't see this until 2024 at the absolute earliest. Final Fantasy XVI is an action RPG that takes place on a continent with six factions that are on the verge of conflict due to a spreading malady known as the Blight. Final Fantasy XVI is being made by Yoshi P and his team over at Creative Business Unit 3. This is the same team behind the amazing Final Fantasy XIV, so I have very high hopes for this game. Final Fantasy XVI is set to release sometime in 2023. This next game is not technically a new game, but it is a massive scale expansion, World Slayer for Outriders. This will add a whole new story campaign, raise the level cap from 30 to 75, boost the difficulty tiers from 15 to 40. It's seriously huge, no joke. The story campaign for Outriders World Slayer will pick up right where the base campaign left off and sees the anomaly continue to worsen now complete with frost storms and blizzards ravaging the land. We also meet the leader of the Human Insurgents faction, Ereshkigal, who is a powerful altered herself and she is hellbent on eradicating you and everyone you have ever known. Ever. So that's fun. Outriders World Slayer is definitely not one you want to miss. It drops June 30th, 2022. Next up is Gotham Knights which is a massive open-world action RPG developed by WB Montreal, the people behind Batman Arkham Origins, as well as the Lord of the Rings games Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War. This game revolves around Nightwing, Batgirl, Robin, and Red Hood, who are tasked with restoring order and justice to Gotham City during a period of decline in the immediate aftermath of Batman's death. While investigating Batman's mysterious disappearance, the heroes come into conflict with the Court of Owls, a mysterious secret society that is as old as Gotham itself, that most people believe is an urban legend. Gotham Knights releases on October 25th, 2022. Next comes Euden Chronicles, a new series made by the creators of Sakodin and it is a spiritual successor to said Sakodin franchise. This series is a huge deal for all fans of classic RPGs and especially turn-based RPGs. The launch of Aoden Chronicles will be split into two parts. Rising, the action RPG prequel, and 100 Heroes, the full-blown classic turn-based RPG. Aoden Chronicles Rising launches this year, May 10th, 2022, and Aoden Chronicles 100 Heroes will follow sometime in 2023. Dragon Age 4 and Mass Effect 5 go hand in hand in terms of excitement and the must-have factor. Dragon Age 4 will take place in the Tevinter Imperium for the first time and has been described as a more narrative-focused game. It is set to release in 2023. Mass Effect 5 will follow, hopefully in 2023, and will serve as a sequel to both Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect Andromeda. It will jump forward several hundred years into the future, bridging the timelines together, and then continuing where Andromeda left off. We're hoping for a 2023 release, though it wouldn't surprise me if it did get pushed back to 2024. The Saints Row franchise is getting a reboot, and it looks absolutely fantastic. A beautiful blend of Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 3 combined with a massive heap of new and unique content makes for a truly awe-inspiring new game. Set in the fictional city of Santo Eliso, which is based on the American Midwest, we will experience everything as we see the Saints being formed from the ground up. Everything from finding the church hideout to the Florida Lee's logo, and even the reason behind the purple witnessed the birth of an empire in epic Saints Row fashion when Saints Row drops on August 23rd, 2022. And that's our list, all. How do we do? Are you excited for these games too? 
Did we miss one? Let us know down below. Feel free to discuss. We always love to hear from our fans. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Later.